Good morning. Today is Tuesday, September 20th, B-Day. I'm Kim Pazella. And I'm Gregory Brand. And this is Kennedy Live. Now for school announcements. The Big Brother Big Sister program is still looking for more seniors to help with the incoming freshmen. The seniors will receive community service hours and will be able to add them to their letters of recommendation for college. Please see Caroline King or Miss Moore for information. Attention ninth graders, if you are interested in volunteering to be a Gale guide to visiting eighth graders this fall and winter, please pick up an application form to fill out in the main office. Any questions, contact Mr. Bruder in the admissions department. All applications will be due by the end of today. Seniors, please be reminded that all yearbook quotes and pictures are due on October 3rd. And now over to Connor with This Day in History. Good morning, Canada Catholic. I'm Connor Buckley with This Day in History. In 1881, Chester A. Arthur became the 21st President of the United States after President James A. Garfield had died just a day before. In 1962, James Meredith was blocked from enrolling at the University of Mississippi by Governor Ross R. Barnett, although he later became the first black student to attend the school. In 1963, U.S. President John F. Kennedy proposed a joint U.S.-Soviet expedition to the moon in a speech to the U.N. General Assembly. And in 2013, Apple released the iPhone 5S. That's all for this day in history. Now back over to the anchors. In world and local news, New York City Police Commissioner James O'Neill says, I'm a lot happier today than I was yesterday. This is in response to the capture of Ahmad Khan Rahami, the man alleged to have set off the bombs in New York City and New Jersey over the weekend. After a shootout with police, Rahami was captured, taken to a hospital for a gunshot wound, and then charged. More charges are pending as authorities piece together the events of the past few days. The White House says federal transportation officials, rather than states, should be in charge of regulating self-driving cars, since the vehicles are essentially controlled by software, not people. They say automakers should also be allowed to self-certify in safety of autonomous vehicles, but federal regulators reserve the right to have pre-market approval. This allows the federal government the right to inspect and approve any new technology. What do you think? Volunteers at Temple University broke a record by making the most peanut butter and jelly sandwiches ever accomplished in one hour. The staggering total of 49,100 sandwiches eclipsed the previous record by nearly 10,000 PB&Js. In total, 4,475 pounds of peanut butter and 3,800 pounds of jelly were used. All the sandwiches were donated to the local food banks and shelters. And now we're to sports with Mirage. Good morning, County Catholic Sports Nation. I'm Mirage with your sports. Boys soccer yesterday tied with Spellman. Uh, one to one, Tom Trophy scored the goal for the Gales. And they'll be having their first home game this Wednesday. And the, their uh, big game Friday will be a whiteout, so make sure you're there for that. Uh, girls, JV and varsity soccer are away tomorrow at Immaculate at 430. And girls volleyball will be having a fan section again this Thursday, so get there early so we can set everyone up. They'll be having a game against Mary Regina. We're going to pick a color, so we'll find that out for you tomorrow. And gir girls varsity tennis have a game at Brewster t uh, tomorrow. And in the NFL, the Eagles beat the Bears 29-14. to Carson Wentz threw for 190 yards and one touchdown, and Trey Burton ran for a touchdown. Well, that's all for sports. Back to the anchors. Well, I'm Kim Pazella. And I'm Greg Brand. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day.